Hey everyone, it's Bryce from Reviews to Rambles, and today we are going to review what I consider to be the three best adjustable dumbbells on the market. Uh, so I'm going to review the Iron Master, the Power Box, and the Newobel dumbbells. So I will be ranking each of these dumbbells in the following five categories, which I consider to be the most important categories when making a dumbbell purchase decision. Those five categories include the weight and max weight of each dumbbell, the speed to change the weight, the durability, the feel of the dumbbells, and the price. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first, the weight of each adjustable dumbbell. For the Iron Master, they have a 45 and 75 pound option, but the standard options uh, with a stand is the 75 pound option. You can also add a 15 pound heavy handle, which is what I have here. Um, so this actually starts the base weight at 15 pounds above what the handle is. So the handle is usually 10 pounds, um, and with the 15 pounds, you're starting out at 25 pounds. Uh, so these go all the way up to 90 pounds then with the base model really of the 75 pound model um, with the heavy handles. Uh, they are upgradable to 180 pounds through two additional upgrade kits. Now each one is about $400 for those upgrade kits so you can actually upgrade as your strength grows. So the power blocks have an expandable option and a non-expandable option. I'm gonna cover the expandable options because I feel it offers the most versatility for most users and it allows you to increase your weight as you grow. So um, the power block expandable start at 50 pounds and go to 90 pounds with two expansion kits. They also have another option, which is the commercial um, edition. And so the commercial editions have two separate heavy handles. One is five pounds, one is 10 pounds. You no longer have to do the small adder weights that uh, are somewhat painful, but they are much more expensive, which we'll talk about later. So they start at 90 pounds, which are not expandable, or you could buy the 125 pound, which is expandable up to 175 pounds. So just to recap, you can get the home model from 50 to 90 pounds, or you would get the commercial models from anywhere from 90 pounds or the expandable of 125 to 175. The Newell Bells are much simpler. They have a 50 pound and a 80 pound model. Uh, this is the 80 pound model. Um, it is not expandable, so that's your max weight. For the max weight, the Iron Masters, um, capping out at 180 pounds, um, will lead the pack, uh, the, followed by the Power Block commercials, which can get up to 175 pounds, but if you get the Power Block home, you're really looking at up to 90 pounds. Um, and then the Nuo Bells uh, can get you up to 80 pounds. So um, I would say the highest weight, most versatility in terms of getting to that weight would be the Iron Masters because you don't need a different type of handle in order to get you to 180 pounds. You just buy more weight. All right, so next we have the speed of changing the dumbbell weight. And when I uh, assessed the speed, I assessed it from changing from the base handle to the highest weight. So that would be 80 pounds with the Newell Bells or 90 pounds with the Power Blocks or the Iron Masters. So the Newell Bells were by far and away the fastest to change. If you use two hands to change the weight, you can actually change uh, from five to 80 pounds in two and a half seconds. Um, if you change them individually one at a time, it would take five seconds to get from five to 80 pounds. Now with the power blocks, you have to add the adder weights, uh, which take it from the five pound handle to the 10 pound handle, and then you select the different weight. Um, and going to 90 pounds was approximately 10 seconds to do all of that. Um, so you know, to get, and that's on both dumbbells, so to add the adder weights, and then adjust from just the handle to 90 pounds, it's about 10 seconds for both dumbbells. So for the Iron Masters, 
To go from the base handle to 90 pounds, it's approximately one and a half minutes or 45 seconds per handle. So it's important to note that this time is significantly reduced if you're simply modifying the weight. So most of us aren't going to be going from the handle weight to 90 pounds and looking to get record times, right? We're going to do most of our weight changes in our workouts or between our sets, um, which are going to be fluctuating between a couple plates. So if you're just changing a couple plates, whether you're dropping them or adding them, you can do this on the fly in about 15 seconds per dumbbell um, or 30 seconds overall. Um, now, the Newell Bells really shine in the speed category with their easy click handle followed by the power blocks uh, with the magnetic pin and the nested handle. And then lastly, the Iron Masters with the quick lock system. So it's important to note that the quick lock system is much faster than other types of spin lock systems. So there are other dumbbells that have an actual spin lock system like the Badass dumbbells or the Pepin dumbbells, which are excellent dumbbells, but they do take a little bit longer than the Iron Masters to change the weights. All right, next we have the durability of the dumbbells. So the Iron Masters, these things are tanks. So I've actually seen them thrown off parking garages. I've seen them thrown down concrete stairs. I've seen them shot with rifles and they definitely hold their own to these challenges. Now, hopefully all of you aren't sitting there thinking, I'm gonna throw my dumbbells over the side of a garage. Um, and so what the more practical application is, is would they survive a spill if you had to bail uh, from a chest press or an overhead press? And the answer is resoundingly yes. I would not worry about bailing out of an incline dumbbell press or an above the head press with these dumbbells. They would survive just fine. Now the power blocks, these have plastic handles and a plastic magnetic selector pin. So the other than these two plastic components, they are all metal. There are screws holding pieces together, but other than those, they're pretty much all metal. Um, so while they are not as durable as the Iron Masters, I would still say they would probably survive a bailout from an incline press or an above the head press. Um, people have talked about abusing their uh, power blocks for years and years. I've seen people talk about 10 years, 15 years, uh, which includes drops. Um, and they said that they've survived just fine. So I think overall the uh, power blocks could survive the drop. Um, I would recommend not dropping them, whereas the Iron Masters could take the drop and it doesn't really matter if you want to drop them or not. Um, now, lastly are the Newell Bells. So the durability is the major challenge with these dumbbells. So they haven't been out long enough to endure the test of time like the other two dumbbells have. Um, but based on the fact that they have all plastic components connecting the weights, uh, which are basically held by these two plastic pieces on each side, um, they have a plastic handle, which is where the weight is adjusted within. Um, it just lends itself to durability challenges, um, given the fact that if you drop this, I do not think it would survive. I think that this dumbbell would be the least durable of all of the dumbbells. There is another piece on the dumbbell stand itself that is a selector pin to actually activate the ability to change the weight. That pin is very vulnerable whenever you set the dumbbells down and re-rack them. So for that reason, I would say that the Newell Bells are the least dur durable, followed by the Power Blocks, um, and then the Iron Masters would have zero durability concerns. So there's really no comparison between the Iron Masters and the others when it comes to durability. All right, now what about dumbbell feel? which is something that I would consider one of the most important qualifiers for how much we actually like using an adjustable dumbbell. So for the Iron Masters, these feel no different to me from any other standard commercial gym set. 
Uh, so these are very well balanced. They have a nice knurled handle, which makes them very comfortable to the hand. You can get a good grip on them. These are also very comfortable in all lifting positions. So given the flat surface within the dumbbell and the ease of access to the handle, they're great for overhead tricep presses. They're also great for pullovers. Um, really, they're basically like a commercial dumbbell. So next we have the Newell Bells. Um, these dumbbells are well balanced, have a knurled handle, um, can be used for just about any lifting position. However, they can be a little awkward with these plastic weight selector cages um, and these caps here. Um, and then also they have these sharp areas within the dumbbell um, itself. Um, these can be a little bit uncomfortable on overhead um, types of exercises where you are grabbing the weight plate. Overall, not a deal breaker, um, but uh, definitely not as comfortable as the Iron Masters. And then lastly, the power blocks. So this is where the power blocks suffer when it comes to the overall feel. So especially with the standard rubber handle. If you'll notice, this is a knurled handle that I've added after the fact. Um, I actually picked this up from JD Equipped. Um, it's a stainless steel knurled, very, very comfortable handle. They're easy to swap out. Um, if you are interested in these handles, JD is an awesome dude. He has his own small business. so. Feel free to click the link down below and support JD if you are looking for a neural handle. So I think some of the major concerns, however, with the power blocks is that they have this nested handle design. With the nested handle design, it makes it difficult to get inside of the dumbbell for different types of overhead tricep presses or for pullovers. However, it's not impossible and um, I would say that you know, once you get used to it, it's not that bad at all to do them with the power blocks. Um, but it does take some getting used to, and I probably wouldn't want to do them above 90 pounds. So if you've decided on the commercial set for yourself, um, it could be a little bit challenging to do these types of overhead presses. So the Iron Masters are by far the best feeling, um, feeling exactly like a high quality set of commercial dumbbells. Um, followed by the Newell Bells, and then lastly, uh, the Power Blocks taking third place on field. All right, let's talk about price. Uh, and before you cringe at the prices of these adjustable dumbbells, which they are not cheap, um, remember that to buy a high quality commercial dumbbell set, you're going to be out about four to seven thousand dollars. So Keep that in perspective when you're assessing the price of these dumbbells. When I'm looking at price, I've looked at the best price for up to 90 pounds, which includes a stand. Yes, some of you guys will actually be building your own stands, uh, but I feel that for the vast majority of people, they're going to buy the dumbbells with the stand. And to make this comparison fair, I have included shipping um, in the total cost. The reason why I've included shipping is because Iron Masters and Newell Bells do not charge for shipping. So it's unfair for me to not add the $200 or $300 that PowerBlox charges for shipping into the total cost of the dumbbells because you have to pay that cost to get these dumbbells to your door. So let's just cut to the chase and get to the price. So if you are looking at a Iron Master uh, 90 pound set, so that's the um, 75 pound standard set with the stand and the heavy handle, it's about $1,028 or $5.71 per pound. So once again, going to 90 pounds, you're looking at about $5.71 per pound. The next runner up is the Newell Bell, which is up to 80 pounds and it's $930. Uh, so it comes out to roughly $5.81 per pound. Now, the Power Blocks, I've added two separate varieties because I know some people will actually get the Power Block Elites over the Power Block Pros. I like the Pro Series because I prefer the urethane um, on the weight. Um, but the elites are a little bit less expensive and they take a little less space. 
So the Power Block Elites up to 90 pounds are $1,330 shipped, uh, which is $7.38 per pound. Yes, $7.38 per pound. Now, the Power Block Pros, which are these ones right here, um, shipped to your door are $14.45 or $8.03 per pound. Um, you know, really, when you're talking about $13.30 versus $14.45, I would select the Pros, which is why I have them here, uh, but it's really your personal preference. Now, if you decide to go for a Power Block commercial variety, they do come with a stand, um, but it adds a significant cost. So ranging from $1,800, including shipping, um, for the 90 pound variety, or up to $2,500 to get the 175 pound variety. So really, you're, you've got quite a few different ranges, but up to $2,500 for the Power Block commercial. So dollar per dollar with delivery, you're getting the best value from the Iron Masters with the heavy handle at $5.71 per pound, followed closely by the Newell Bells at $5.87 per pound. And then the most expensive by a landslide are the Power Block Elites at $7.38 per pound and the Power Block Pros at $8.03 per pound. The Power Block commercial sets will be even more expensive. All right, you guys, that was a ton of information. So let's recap these rankings uh, just to kind of refresh our memory. So for weight, Iron Master was the top weight. Uh, followed by Power Blocks and then Newell Bells. For speed, it was the Newell Bells which came in the fastest, uh, then the Power Blocks, and then the slowest by a decent margin were the Iron Masters. If the durability of the dumbbells themselves, the Iron Masters won by a landslide, um, followed by the Power Blocks, then the Newell Bells, which I would consider the least durable. All right, and then feel. We have the Iron Masters, followed by the Newell Bells, and lastly, the Power Blocks. For price, the Iron Masters were the best value overall, followed by the Newell Bells, and then lastly, the Power Blocks, which came in at a significant additional expense compared to the other two. We've talked about all of these categories across these different dumbbells, and so I'm actually getting in the Pepin Fast Dumbbells, which should be here soon. I'm gonna try them out and then I'm going to post a review. These dumbbells could be the new kings of each category. They are solid steel dumbbells. Um, they have the speed of adjustment of the Newell Bells, the durability that's supposed to be close to the Iron Masters. Um, the, Big disadvantage for the Pepins would be the price. So they are a little bit more expensive. So we can talk about that as soon as I've had a chance to try them out and review them to see if they're actually worth your hard earned dollars. But from what I'm seeing, they might be the new king of the adjustable dumbbell. So my suggestion is to buy dumbbells that hit the most important criteria for your exercise programming. And I'd also consider dumbbells that have weights that are expandable to grow with you over the next year, two years, five years down the road because you don't wanna to have to buy one set now and then change to a completely different set later because it didn't have enough weight. Now you can always do the additional add option where you add individual dumbbells um, for certain heavier weights. Um, that is another option, but those are quite expensive when you get into those high weights. So I would say buy once, cry once, buy the dumbbells that are going to best suit your needs. What would I buy if I could only have one set of adjustable dumbbells? While I enjoy having at least two sets of adjustable dumbbells, if I could only have one, I would choose the Iron Masters. The Iron Masters are the most durable. They are the most light commercial dumbbells. Uh, the only downside with these is the time it takes to change the weight. You do get faster at it with time, um, but it is somewhat of a disadvantage with the Iron Masters. However, I do not think that disadvantage for my training purposes 
uh, would outweigh all of the other benefits that you would get with the Iron Masters. So that wraps up our review. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you enjoy this content, please feel free to give us a like. We'd appreciate that. Um, if you want to see additional content that's similar to this, um, including our review of the Pepin Fast Dumbbells when that comes out, feel free to subscribe down below. We would also appreciate that. Um, and we look forward to seeing you the next time, you guys. All right, until next time, this is Bryce from Reviews to Rambles, and stay strong out there.